For one quarterfinal number one, the Texans. They improved to 31 and 3. They'll move on to play tomorrow night in semifinal number one at 6 o'clock. Coach, we'll let you uh, start things off. Opening comments. Congratulations. Well, thank you. First of all, we give God all the glory for the victory. Uh, Mount Olive, we give them a lot of credit. They have a great basketball team, and, and hats off to them on a tremendous year. And they did just an outstanding bunch of young men and character men. And, and Coach does a great job. So we want to give our hats off to Mount Olive. Um, I thought our guys came out, and uh, we were a little bit shell shocked in the first five minutes. And I think you got to be careful on that in this, in this elite eight because the first five are very important. But I thought our kids really fought back, and and, and we got uh, you know we got ourselves under control and let the nerves kind of settle us into the game. And then I thought we played Tarleton basketball, and we got on the defensive end and really worked hard on the defensive end, tried to control the backboards, and then uh, you know get some shots in because they shot the ball so well the first half and. And uh, we missed a bunch of layups the first half. And, and that's just, I think it's nerves. And I just thought we really uh, really got the real going on this thing on the defensive end. So very proud of our young men. Uh, they've worked very, very hard. And, and uh, these teams are also great once you get here. And it's, it's, a, you know, just a, it's just a time where you know, you're, just, you're in awe of everything that's going on. And we're very proud of what we've accomplished today. Thank you, Coach. And as you can see, our student athletes joining us on the dais uh, is Deshaun Reddick. Michael Harge, and Nosa at Wumi. And I hope I was very close in saying that. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, when you ask a question, please state your name and your affiliation, and we'll go. We'll start off in the back on the platform. This is Coach Creighton Rav, SpinnerRank.com. Now you had a stretch in the second half where, where, they, where your defense just literally shut down uh, Mount Olive. They missed 11 straight field, field goal attempts. I mean, we'll talk about... Really talk about the difference between the first half and that second half, especially defensively. Well, you know, I thought the first half we, we, we really were not, you know, I think we were, were very nervous. We, we hadn't worked our way into the game. We made some adjustments at halftime. Our program is built on defense, and if you followed us, and, and uh, you know, we knew if we could get our defense to where we, we had had so many uh, walkthroughs and, and uh, working on our game, game plan. We just had to engage our game plan. And once we engaged our game plan, then I felt like, you know, we, we, we really got into the game the way we wanted to play. And, you know, you can look at a lot of people on tape, ladies and gentlemen. You can look at a lot of people on tape, but you still cannot see the individual talent at times. And, and when you get up close and you see it, there's some, there's some in-game adjustments you must make because of what you don't see on tape. And I thought we made those in-game adjustments at halftime. Go ahead, right here. Brad, Sean, the stretch where you came in, Mo Lee was in some foul trouble, and y'all went to the uh, rotation of you and Harge on the floor together right late in the first half when you got the lead. Talk about what was going on through your body as a freshman coming into that situation with Mo going to the bench in 2000. Um, my thing was just to come in and play, just try and play within the system. And, and me and Mike, we played well together, so we feed off each other. And, you know, Coach told me before this whole thing started that. No, I wasn't a freshman anymore, and I'm a sophomore, so it's time to step up. That's what we said. Nosa, talk a little bit about your game today. Obviously, getting some points and doing a lot of little things defensively. Uh, from the beginning of the game, uh, we just wanted to come out with a lot of energy. And uh, I mean, you know, all of us are a great team, and uh, we were just trying to match the intensity they had in the beginning of the game, and we just had to hit some shots to help us out. Go ahead and back. Um, Coach, just to follow up, you, we had, you had seven different players scoring at least six points. I don't think too many people familiar with your team would have expected uh, Nose to hit those uh, three triples during a game. I mean, t I'm, how big is it to have all that, that depth and the, the different offensive weapons there? Well, you know, it, it's been that way for us all year. And, and now when, we were, when we were in here on the media uh, yesterday, I was telling everybody that, you know, you just can't key on one of our players. Somebody's going to step up. We've had balance scoring all year, if you look at it. And you never know who the person's going to be because the way we run our offense is just who is going to be open in the offense by somebody penetrating, hitting somebody. You know, you've got a pick and roll. You have our sets that we're looking at, and, and, and we're, we're very unselfish. I'm, I'm looking down here tonight. I guess we have 15 assists. No, we have 11 assists. And, 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 and you know, and some of those were missed in the first half when we, when we missed some really crucial layups in the first half. 
And so uh, I just like the way our guys hung in there. They continue to look for each other. They continue to be very unselfish, and that's the way we've been most of the, all, all season. Go ahead. Uh, Mike Carge, um, 10 or 14 in the free throw line. Tell me, when you look at the times there when you knew they were getting some you know, fouls early in the second half, you were trying to get a little bit of the bonus and trying to get the stop. Was that a big part of your, your kind of mindset there? I mean, it's always been a big part of my mindset. Um, you win games at the free throw line, definitely. And I just feel like me being aggressive and trying to get to the rim and throwing fouls helps my team out as much. I mean, free throws free. So you might as well get as many as you can. <laughs> Go ahead. Chris Brownfield, t 2 speedycom uh, For Coach, uh, I know we were here on well, Springfield back in 05, 06. Can you just tell us a little something about what it's like for you to be back at the Elite Day after, well, not a drought, but a few years? You know, well, it might be a drought, I'll tell you, because you feel like that. I mean, I'm not getting any younger, that's for sure. <laughs> And uh, I don't think people realize how hard it is to get here. I mean, you have to go through a lot to get here. And, and you know, we've been close. We were in a regional final in, in 08. We lost at the buzzer at, on a three-point shot. And, you know, we've, uh, we've been into the semis and haven't quite got to the Sweet 16. And it's just very tough to get here. And uh, it makes you really appreciate, as you grow older like I have, it makes you appreciate what you, uh, the blessings that you've been given to get to, uh, to, get to this point in time, <clears throat> especially with a great group of kids. Not that I haven't, I've had great groups of kids, and our, our program, you, you can look back, and, and it seems to be you know, one of the top ten programs in the nation every year, but your ultimate goal is can you get to the Elite Eight, and, and uh, very proud that we have that opportunity, and yes, it's been a little bit of a drought, and, and I'll tell you what, when you go back to back, you think it's easy when you're young. <clears throat> I found out the last few years it's not that easy, and it makes you appreciate it a lot more when you get here. Go ahead. Coach, last week we got to ask you what it was like to sit there with two seniors on either side yeah. in the regional. What's it like having, with all due respect to Mike, what's it like having two freshmen? I don't know, Mom. Because uh, yeah, I'm looking at these guys over here and, and uh, have two freshmen on the floor. And, and Mike has been a, you know, an inspirational leader and a, and a good man to follow and, and learn from Mike and a uh, quality human being. And uh, you know, I just can't say enough. I told him they're not freshmen anymore, though. Sean's right. I told him after the game and before the game. You played 33 games. Don't tell me you're a freshman. You're a sophomore now. I think he took that upon himself and took it to heart tonight and went out there and played like a sophomore and played, you know, just played tremendous. Any other questions for Coach or our student athletes? Go ahead. Uh, this is for Michael or any of the players, Paul Paul Grants at um, Coach talked a little bit about the nerves. Um, just playing through that and being able to win today, does, does that help you a lot to deal with? I mean, it definitely, sorry, I'll speak. <laughs> uh, I definitely think it was, I mean, we're nervous, not really nervous, I mean, we had, we've had we had a week off, we've been anxious to play, we came here two days ago, got a little feel for the for the arena a little bit, <clears throat> I mean, a little week off makes you want to play more, and I mean, some of us had a hard time sleeping last night because we were so anxious and ready to play, but, I mean, it's, it's part of the game, basketball. I mean, you're going to get anxious, especially on a big stage like this, but, you know, you just got to play through it. Any other questions? Congratulations, Coach. We'll be available outside the locker room if uh, there's any other follow-up questions or individual one-on-ones. Congratulations, gentlemen. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Thank, Thank you very much. much.